Hey, how's it going, everyone? Brad Smith here with HealthLink, and I'm connecting health and fitness experts throughout the world. I'm here with John, owner of Fitness Aspects. How are you today, John? I'm doing great, Brad. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I think the first thing I want to do is just have us have us see exactly what you offer. Um, and so I think you should show us around your fitness studio, and I'm going to try not to call it a gym today. So it's not a gym, okay. it's a fitness studio. So yeah, if you could uh, introduce yourself real quick. Um, John, owner of Fitness Aspects. Yep, I'm John Fayokavitz. I'm the owner of Fitness Aspects here in Chantilly, Virginia. And I'd like to show you just a little bit of what my facility looks like and what we have to offer here. Okay, awesome. And you're on the second floor, right? I'm on the second floor. Downstairs, we have a Caliente Dance Fitness Studio, where it's a, it's a Zumba-type classes that we offer downstairs. And then we come upstairs, and this is where we do our personal training and group training. Now, are you, you're not the one teaching those dance classes, are you, John? No, I have no rhythm. <laughs> you let the experts do that, right? Yes, I do. What exactly do you offer before you show us? Well, we offer personal training, one-on-one -on -one sessions. We offer semi-private, you know, or partner training, if you want to call it that. And we do small group. That is one of the biggest things that we have to offer is the personalization of our small group. We try to keep it between three and six people. So it's not like in a massive boot camp here. We try to keep it. And the reason we do it is because we want to watch the form on people. Okay. We want to make it like it's a, a private session within a group setting. Now, I've, I've watched some of your videos and pictures. It looks like you guys have a lot of fun and we're really working them hard, but it's that group setting is making it fun for them. Yeah, we have a blast. You know, and the thing is variety. I, I, I try to design things that people have fun doing and they, and they get into fitness that way when it's not the same monotonous, boring step over and over and over. There's only so many burpees you can do. Exactly. All right, so show us uh, what you got. Turn the camera around. And if you could just explain each section of your uh, your fitness studio that you have. Okay, can you see that? Okay. Yep. Let me make it a little bit bigger. All right, there you go. So what okay, so what this room is, is this you that you're showing up? What's that? What room is this exactly? This is the first room that we come into. As soon as you come up the steps, and you enter it here, you can see a functional trainer in the corner. We have a boxing bag there, and this is where we do our deadlifts and our Olympic training of some sort. So we have some, some you know, we don't do exactly Olympic training. Um, we just do basic deadlift things, uh, cleans, and things like that. Because we're not into, you know, we don't have the clientele to actually do Olympic training or CrossFit. Right. Now, you, you specify on your website that you're the perfect studio for people 35 and older. Is that uh, exactly. kind of your target rate? That's exactly what we try to target. Is uh, we're trying to get people, uh, Brad, to, to get to get off the couch and, and not be intimidated in our atmosphere. I, I, anytime that they come here, they're coming here in a in a time setting. Okay, there's not a bunch of people here. Um, they're not intimidated at all about the, the structure that we do or the atmosphere and the environment that they're in. But you can see as we're walking around, this is our TRX station. Okay? Yeah, show me that. Some rings on. Okay, I don't know if you can see all that, right? Yep, that's perfect right there. Um, that's that's perfect for people, um, you know, especially taking trying to take care of their bodies. Yep. And then we're coming around the corner. You can see we got the balls, the stability balls. We have our consultation room right there in the corner. Uh, do you and offer you nutrition also? What's that? Do you offer uh, nutrition also? Oh, yes. Yep, we have now. We okay. just uh, got on board uh, a metabolic nutritional coach. Okay. Okay, perfect. Where she she can help you out with your metabolism because each one of us have different metabolisms and what we can process in our food and and what gets you know what's better for them. That that okay. looks like a huge space. Um, what what area is this? This is our second area. Okay, as you can see, I've now uh, we have two functional trainers here. This is where we have the warm ups. We have the rower, we have the bike, we have two treadmills, okay? We have the squat rack over there. And as we pan over here, you can see another functional trainer, okay? As you see, you can see the kettlebells on the floor, BOSUs. We have so many different things here, okay? We, uh, my clients, they joke all the time that I got more toys than they've ever seen. 
But what makes it nice is it looks like you have plenty of room to where it's not too claustrophobic. You have tons of open areas. And as you can see, again, this is the difference between us and the gym. I mean, look at the window. I have 54 windows. <laughs> wow. Hopefully you don't have to clean those. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so walk around. Now we're going into the section. Now we got our third section. Okay, and again, another functional trainer, another squat rack. You can see some of the bands hanging on there for the exercises we did this morning. We have the sled. We have the ropes. We have different free battle ropes. And again, another what, uh, wow. rack. What's pretty cool is that you have this on the second floor. You're able to, um, you know, have plenty of space on the first level, but also even on the second level, too, which makes it nice. Yeah, we have over 6,700 square feet up top. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. And then how, how many trainers? Uh, we have, well, we have, I'm the main trainer in fitness aspects, but I also have other trainers that I guess we could call subcontract trainers, but I also have one other girl that works with me. Okay. And what does she specialize in? She's the, uh, just personal training. I mean, I, I got her doing my small group class. She's mostly in my small group uh, trainer. It looks like it's a very um, comfortable, warm environment if a new customer was to come in. Well, that's what we're trying to set. Okay, when you go into these gyms, you know, the big box gyms, as soon as you walk in, it's intimidation. There's people all over the place. There's machines all over the place. You can see we have no machines. Okay, the only machines that we call machines is functional trainers. And I don't really call that a machine because you're not sitting down and getting positioned and set in those positions. Everything is functional and body weight here. Uh, do you have anything else you want to show us in, the, in there? No, nope, that's the whole facility up top. All right, awesome. Yeah, if you could turn the camera around, and then we'll talk to you for a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. I think your facility is great, and I like how it's warm and welcoming. Um, it's not overwhelming when someone first walks in. Um, is that how you usually like to see a new customer, is just have them come in for that first consultation and meet you? Yep, exactly. Okay, and again, they, that sets the tone for them coming in and knowing what our facility can offer them. Okay, if they're coming up, they've never exercised before and things like that. They have the, it's a comfort level that we have here. So, what what got you started um, with fitness aspects and in the fitness industry? Why did you want to do this to help others? Well, I've been uh, I've been in this industry for over thirty years. Um, I've been a football coach and a lacrosse coach is where I started. Um, and I was always been a strength coach at all the various schools that I've been in. And I just got to the point where, you know, I wanted to reach out and help people in a better way. And, and, and because our industry is, well, I guess in society, we have people that are overweight, diabetes, high blood pressure. You know, I was dealing with kids. But what I wanted to do was deal with the adult. Okay. So they can get healthier and have a better longevity, wellness quality of life. I mean, that's what we do here. Okay. Again, we're not producing bodybuilders. Okay. We're not producing those types of people. We're trying to get people off medications. Okay. Getting out of their car easily, walking up and down the steps with their laundry basket. I mean, that's the type of thing playing with their grandkids. I just had a great, uh, I mean, I gave me chills this morning when one of my clients come up to me and says, John, you know, over the weekend, me and my wife went on an 18 mile hike over the weekend. Like, he would have never, he could have never possibly done that a year ago. Wow. That's awesome. That's that says a lot. I'm going to put your address up here real quick. All right. Just put your address up. So why are you targeting um, mostly people over 35? Do you think that's someone you really connect with and do you think you can help out the I, most? Yes. I, on a, on, a, on a level, I connect with them more because I mean, I'm not going to tell you my age, but, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I have a connection with them and I see, you could just see it when I'm walking around, I could just see the people that you know, when I was in the box gyms, when I did work at some box gyms, you see them walking around confused. Okay. Very confused. And, and, and they don't have the, I guess the personality to go up to trainers or whatever, to try to find out help, or maybe as soon as they go up to them, Oh, you're going to cost me money. You know what I mean? And, and that's something that we don't have here, okay? And that's what I wanted. And this is really why I started this is to help the people because, again, you walk in there and you see so much confusion on their face. Where do I start right. an exercise program? 
okay, what kind of nutrition should I be doing? Okay, because they know probably that if they go to these box gyms, as soon as they open their mouth, it's going to cost them money. Yep, you're right. And I mean, I, you have that more personal approach than just a big box gym. Then. That's why I like how you want to clarify. We're not a gym. We're a fitness studio. We're helping these people out, and this is what we can do for them. You're very clear Absolutely. with that up front. Yep. How, how far do people usually travel to come see you? Um, in this area, uh, Brad, it, it's tough with the, the commuting thing. So we have probably a range between five and ten miles. Um, you know, we're in the Washington, D.C., what we call in northern Virginia is considered Washington, D.C. area. And, you know, the traffic here is, you know, so we try to hit the people in and out going to work or after work. But, it, again, the congestion of traffic. So that plays a big part here. Now, um, so that's about you try to keep it close. So that's almost like that family atmosphere then. They all live close to each other. They work yeah. out at the same place. Yeah, we have a lot of family communities, big communities, you know, con you know, the condos and all that stuff around here. And that's what we have, and we try to market. Now, what happens if, you know, you're targeting those people over 35, if they do have kids, can they bring the kids in with them? What's that, Brad? Can, can they bring their kids in with them if they join? Yeah, they can. We try to keep it again. You know, our classes, are, you know, they're not geared for the, for the, the kids. I mean, if you get a kid, our youngest participant so far has been 18 years old. Okay. Okay. And and that's what we really like try to keep it at. And, and because I think the kids would get bored of what we try to do. Okay. They lose focus. Okay. So, you know, that's the niche that I was trying to go for and it's been working out. That's awesome. Now tell me, um, I'm always curious. I know we didn't talk about it before. Uh, right off the top of your head, your bi biggest success story or one that really stands out to you and motivates you. Uh, well, the biggest success story is I had a gentleman come in uh, about three, three years ago and totally depressed about the way he was trying, the way he was looking. Okay, he was right. he was over 250 pounds, and he just came in. He said, "This is the bottom. I, I don't know what else to turn to. I've tried gyms. I've tried going to personal trainers before." He saw me. I was over in another smaller facility over in Centerville, which was a closer town to me. And he just said, I'm going to try this because you look like on your website that you, again, were more personable. Okay. I wasn't right. a box. Gym. And he came in here. We started working one-on-one -on -one with him. And over, the, I'd say the first six or eight months, we, we, he lost between 40 and 50 pounds. Okay. Because we went and we got, he did cooking classes. He, he, he totally changed his lifestyle. Okay. Totally. Okay. He right. went and got into cooking classes. He started to eat the things that we were trying to tell him to do, you know, the light run of protein, the carbs that you should be eating, and the time of day you should be eating, and everything like that. And he just came to me three times a week as a personal trainer, okay, one-on-one -on -one sessions, and that was for over a year. And he started gradually just losing the weight and getting off the medications. He was on 17 medications when he came to me, okay? Wow. And right now, he's down to two, okay? Okay. In the process, he's lost close to 100 pounds now in three years. All right. And the biggest thing, it, it, which makes, again, I, I keep talking about chills, is he, he's playing softball. Okay. He's playing flag football. And wow. he could have never done that before. Now, do you think um, you motivated him to get started, do all that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that, don't forget, I'm a football coach too. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. so my job is to get the, the best out of people, okay? Yeah. That is my job, okay? I want to bring out the best in people. I want to coach them the best I can, whether it be in a sport atmosphere or in, their, in, in fitness. So when he got those results, he's able to start playing sports and being active again. Um, how much did that motivate and mean to you? Oh, well, it meant the world. I mean, that, that's just, I, get it. I mean, there's more success stories that I have. And, and, and the biggest things is, but he was by my far, my biggest one. And okay. it just made me, you know, it had chills. Well, that's awesome. I know that's why you probably got started in the industry. And now you're able to, exactly. you know, yeah. So it motivates you that's to exactly help them got, even more. I love to help people. I, the biggest thing you guys, I have a, a master's degree in education. Okay. Oh, wow. So. I want to educate people. Brad, there are so many myths, lies, and things out there on the fitness industry, you know, that they don't even know. Like I said, they don't know where to turn. Okay? Right. So if I educate 
my clients in the proper way of doing things, eating wise, okay, and in the proper way to do the the exercise programs. Uh, you know, that's what I'm here. I want to educate my population and my clients. Well, that's awesome, and I I think that means the most to them also that you're really caring for them. You have that education. You know exactly how to help them, and uh, so that's why they're able to come off those medications and uh, yep. lose the weight, reach their goals. Yeah, we, again, we, we're such a small, I mean, we're so personable here and so uh, like a family atmosphere here that these guys, they, they text me, they can call me, they do anything they want at any time. John, can I eat this? Okay. Or when can I eat this? Or, you know, what's the best source for, of protein that I should be eating? Okay. It, yeah. It's that stuff that you don't get at gyms. Okay. No. You know, it's just those types and those little things that I can do to help these people. Okay, get to the goals and get the health and wellness that they want. Okay, so you were an old fo football coach. Um, how's your training like? Is it are you pretty hardcore and tough and mean, or do you take it easy on them? Yeah, uh, you know, I I I do. I mean, again, it's that coach background that these people. And again, it's a going joke, you know, because I scream. Okay, and, and that's what I tell them it's my coaching. Don't worry about it. Okay, I scream across the room quite loud, you know, and other trainers are like, John, we're right here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know, but that's me trying to just shout, you know, being used to shouting across the field and things like that. But it also yeah. gives them motivation. Okay, right. when I'm starting to introduce them that way in that tone of voice and things like that, they get they get energized. Well, that's awesome. I, you know, that's going to push them even more. So, um, you know, where could somebody find you if they're in your area? Um, I'm going to pull up your name here. And I'll put your address in again also. Um, or how can somebody reach you the easiest, the best way for you? The way, my, my easiest. Um, but we're also, if you Google search us, we're pretty high up there. Um, but, I mean, that website would be my first thing. Okay, so they go to the website. What do they see when they get to the website? I know there's a nice video on there. There's a video of our facility. There's our programs. Or you can see our programs that we have to offer. Um, and then you can go and get a free consultation. Okay, where they can come in and just, you know, contact me either by my email or call me and we'll set up a nice uh, free consultation where we really go through what they want, what their goals are and dig deep, you know, to what their emotional, why are they doing this? You know, what, what's the, what's the reason you're doing this? Right. Well, now, what's that first week like for them as we wrap up here? Um, if somebody wants to get started with you, they go through your website, they set up the consultation. What's the first week going to be like for them? Well, it all depends on what program they take. Um, if they do the, the group training, okay, we call it our build and burn program, okay, where we'll take, if, if it's a first time person who doesn't have any experience at all, we take them for, for that first week or so to give them the exercises, you know, like the curls and, and tricep extensions and the proper way to do it. Because if you throw them into a group and, and people, even though our groups are they're there for people, anyone from a person coming off the couch to an athlete, we can do that, okay, in our group settings. But again, okay. they feel like they're getting intimidated, okay, because they don't know how to do it. And it's not that our courses are that hard. It's just that they don't know, think that they know how to do it. So we try to teach them, okay, go over to certain exercises that they'll see a lot of during the course of that first week, okay. But each station that we do, it is all up to them. So we modify everything that they do. If there's a person who has a knee problems or back problem or anything like that, and they can't do a certain exercise, then we'll modify. Okay. If you're going to, you know, some people will never do box jumps. Okay. But that's okay. Right. Okay. As long as they're doing modified step ups or, or just anything movement in place, high knees in place. Okay. So that's the first week that, you know, we try to gradually build them up into our programs and, and, and go from there. All right, guys, if you are in the Washington, D.C. area, right, you're pretty close to Washington, D.C.? Yep. And I say Northern Virginia area, you know, the Chantilly South Riding is where we really, Fairfax, that's yep. where we get our clients from. All right. So, yeah, if anyone's watching and you're in that area, you know, I really want to encourage you to check out John at Fitness Aspects. He's one of our top trusted health and fitness experts. And especially in that area, I think you could, you know, really help people make some changes and help them change their life, reach their goals, and even get off medication. So I hope you guys check out John. John, thank you so much for doing the interview with me today.
and I'm looking forward to seeing more great things that you offer. Well, thank you, Brad, for having me. Yep, have a great day. Yep, you too.